people here noticed the line dances today? They were going in different directions. Did you see that? They didn't have their leader. Shirley wasn't here today. They're going this way. They're going that way. They're going up. They're going down. Nobody took charge. Okay? You'd think you'd have it down by now, but you don't. I'm getting threats over here now. Now I'm getting threats. This is a great time, isn't it? Christmas time, Hanukkah, the New Year coming. Okay, we love this time of the year. But it's, it's a time of year that it, it's really special for the children. And, and those of you who have kids or grandkids, or who can even remember back to when you were kids, okay? Back in the, in the last century, the earlier part of the last century. You remember, you remember that, that Christmas when you came downstairs and you opened up those gifts and they were clothes. <laughs> and you had clothes. And I remember my son, when I, when I had the uh, opportunity to go out and buy him clothes for the first time, he, he looked at me and goes, where's all the toys? I said, when you stop believing in Santa Claus, he stopped you start getting clothes, right? And I remember him one one time he decided that he wasn't gonna put any cookies. I got a call on sixteen. <laughs> I think that's their, that's their way to tell him, all right, you've had enough. But I remember he put out veggies, carrots, fruit. I said, What are you doing? He goes, Did you see the size of Santa Claus? Did he keep putting out chocolate chip cookies for this guy? He knew. My youngest son, who grew up with computers, went to the mall, went to the Brookhaven Mall, and he sat on Santa's lap. He was a little scared, a little That's nervous. Some kids get nervous with stuff like that. And Santa Claus said, what is it that you want, little boy? And he looked at him and was like, what do I want? You didn't get my email? You didn't understand that. But there's always, there's always the tension that comes along with, with Christmas. And you learn, and you learn every season by the mistakes that you made the season before. Last year there was a lot of tension in my house. My wife was a little upset with the gift that I got. I should, I, this, that gift certificate, the Weight Watchers, and that jar of anti-wrinkle cream didn't go over too well. And she was just so upset. But I, I learned my lesson this year. I know better. I went out, I bought her a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> Diamond ring. Is going to work? So it's one of those Dysons with the ball. You know that that one? No. I guess I'm in trouble again. I'm always in trouble. Okay. And, and what do we do at this time of the year, too? We over-imbibe. We always drink too much. You know you drank too much with your tie sticking out of your fly, right? Okay. I noticed I went to the bathroom before. My fly, my fly was open. The tie was sticking out. I only had a few. But, but we tend sometimes to drink a little bit too much. Okay? And we have to be careful with the drinking. And the drug. You know about the buffalo theory, though, right? You never heard the buffalo theory of drinking? When the Indians would go out, are you allowed to say Indians? Yes. When the Native Americans, is that better, would go out and they, and somebody's saying, say what you want. You don't want me to say what I want to say. They would go out and they would hunt the buffalo. And as they would track down the herd, it was always the slower buffalo at the back of the herd that would kill first. And you know about Darwin and the survival of the fittest. This ensured that the rest of the herd, the strongest members of the herd, would survive and move on and reproduce. Okay? Well, same thing goes for drinking. When you drink and the more you drink, you know that you kill brain cells. But what are the brain cells that you're killing? The weakest ones. The ones that you don't want, right? So drinking is very, very beneficial. You get rid of all the dead brain cells, and the more that you drink, the more animated you become, the happier you become, right? It's true. And then you're ready to start all over again the next day. So remember, there's nothing wrong with drinking so long as you do it in moderation, okay? And make sure that you don't get behind the wheel of a car. We have to be careful with that, too. And it's also a very, very special time of the year. Uh, Spiritually, okay, and we all know that whether it be Hanukkah or Christmas, we have to remember that there's a spiritual aspect to this holiday too. My grandfather, 
good old Pete, everybody knew in the neighborhood as Pete, suddenly found religion twice a year, Easter and Christmas. And he would show up at church on both those dates. And one day, Father Mulcahy, seeing him coming out of church on Christmas Day, said to him, Pete, when are we going to get you to join the army of the Lord? And my grandfather said, Father, I'm already a member of the army of the Lord. And Father Mulcahy, he said, well, why is it that I don't hear see you here every Sunday? Grandfather looked him in the face and said, that's because I'm a member of the Secret Service. 